The year was 1933. America was in what people called the Noble Experiment. I was just promoted to detective. <laughs> I remember really liking the sound of that. Detective Ronan Kyoto. If only I'd known what would happen on my first case. Hey, the name's Ronan. Hope we can get along. Not much of a handshake fan. <sighs> the chief said you'd help me get started. Take a seat. I take it you're the working type. I guess you could say that. Chief showed me your resume. Looks pretty damn good. I see you've been doing a lot of work in organized crime. I got this case this morning. Something about a hidden bartender? You up for it? Yeah, of course. So it's a bootlegger we're after. You disappointed? They're a lot more interesting than those moonshiners upstate with their distilleries, brewing that white lightning. And who's Moretti? He's the supplier of the whole operation. We catch him, everything should be all right. The city's a pretty big place. I don't think it's gonna be easy finding someone that doesn't want to be found. Trust me, Ronan. I've been doing this a long time. I know how to find people. Who finally decided to show up? Who is he? New partner. What happened to your old one? Couldn't keep up with your ego? Get to the point. Where's the dough? War on in the streets that Moratti is set up somewhere in town. Pretty tight system. But I don't think even his sellers know where he is. But I do know one guy who deals directly with him. Who? Patience! I was getting to it. He's a bartender who owns a speakeasy on in 24. His name is Rick. If you want Moratti, he will be your man. Hey, I take down Rick. Stay at the back door, right? What can I do you for? About a pop or a sandwich, perhaps? Nah, I don't want no sandwich. Give me some milk, please. <laughs> Here's your drink, sir. So, how's, uh, how's the business with Prohibition going on? Business has been good. It's not like Prohibition is going to stop me from doing my job or anything. And aren't you afraid you're going to get caught? I've been doing this for over 10 years. Never been caught. Profit's going high. Life's been good. And where do you get all your stuff? Brother imports it from Cuba. I work for this one guy. Who might that be? Who wants to know? You a cop or something? A cop? No, no. I see you, uh, haven't taken a drink. I don't drink. Whoa. Who are you? Stay back! Ugh. Mm 
Ronan, you all right? It doesn't look like he messed you up too badly. Thought you were waiting outside. I was, but I had to take a leak. It won't happen again. Better not, I almost got my face beaten. Can't you take your job a little bit more seriously? I already said I'm sorry. What more do you want from me? Maybe just a better attitude. Just apply it. You don't spill it, you'll regret it. Hey buddy, we don't have to do this, you know? Just tell us what we ask you to tell us. Just say what we want you to say, and we'll let you go. So if I tell you, I can leave? Yup, but if you don't, my friend's gonna break your skull. Until you tell us. Which option seems better to you, your choice? Alright, I'll tell you. But nobody can know that I was your source of info. Capone inspires Moretti. I don't want to end up like the Gusenberg brothers on St. Valentine's Day. Just tell us before we lose our patience. Where's Moretti? I don't know where he is. He sends letters to me whenever he wants to give me instructions. I don't know what the damn guy looks like. You have to understand, no one here likes prohibition. If someone wants to regulate morality, it never works. Keep talking. You think people like me are bad? We actually supply people with what they want. What you guys are doing? It's taking people's vitality and happiness by sending some stupid amendment that's supposed to stop alcohol forever. Breaking the law and you're trying to argue that you're doing the right thing? I'm not saying I'm doing the right thing, but I know for sure what I'm doing isn't wrong. I'm breaking the law, but it's a stupid law. I give what they want. Society gets what it wants because of me. And how's this got to do with Moretti? I kind of work for the guy, in a way. He's way above me, controlling all the strings, even mine. I get a lot of brute alcohol from the man. You know he's a killer, right? I know, but I just wouldn't be here without him. As much as I've given up to him, I've also gained. I could have been left for dead on the streets, but instead, I get to live the life of a bootlegger, making profit from people's dangerous addiction. So am I allowed to go? <laughs> Let's leave him here. What, you crazy? If we let him go, he's just gonna end up selling more of that junk. Let's go. We have more work to do anyway. Can't do that. I'll die here. Fine. We'll just bring him in then. Bartender said he didn't know where Moretti was. Think the Chinese guy gave us the wrong info? I doubt it. I trust the guy. I worked with him many times before. I like you Chinese folk. <sighs> I'm Japanese. Whatever. How long have you been doing this? Six, seven years maybe. Maybe more. I don't keep track anymore. I checked the jail files yesterday. The bartender wasn't in the records. I brought him in, Ronan. What do I feel like I can't believe you? What are you trying to say, Ronan? That I'm doing a bad job? No, that you're not doing your job at all. I am doing my job. You probably checked the wrong jail. Oh yeah? Now I'm the one making a mistake? Fine. If my partner can't even trust me, I'll just get a new one then. Fine. I'll do this case on my own. I'm going back to Rick's place. No. Don't.
Let's wake him up. So, where does he like doing the right thing? You like to enforce the law and help others. You know what I like about you, Ronan? You don't talk. And uh, me, I never shut up. So, let's get to the small talk, shall we? Because, uh, Vader's gonna be bringing down a lot of good stuff. A lot of hard stuff, mostly. So, if you're not used to that, well, it's gonna suck for you. Let's have some fun. Goddamn shoes. Hey, Vader, give me another bottle. Still want to do the right thing, detective? I'm gonna kill you. You know, I got an idea. Why don't you ask your uh, friend over there <laughs> to like untie you and let you go? <laughs> friend. Fuck you, stupid. He's as corrupt as like everyone else on the force. Except for you, goody goody. Good no matter what. You no, know, I kind of like that about you. It's too bad I gotta fucking kill you, bud. It's been fun, hasn't it? Hey, Sarko, you gotta try this shit out. It's so fun, man. No. What the fuck did you just say to me? I'm not doing this. It isn't humane. It's more wrong than anything we've ever done. We can't kill him like this. Neither. Fuck it. Bader, put him out of his misery for me. Better be fucking dead by the time I get back. Bader, give me the gun. I'll shoot him for you. He was my partner. I've wanted to kill him since we met. I'll do it. I'll shoot him. No. I'm going after Moretti. I'm sorry. I'll come with you. No. I'll do this alone. You go get some clothes. Don't go back to your place. I'm already filled it with dynamite. You were too soft to kill him, weren't you? I did what was right. I don't know why I let you control me all these years. Cause you're greedy. I've got a whole lot of money. Shut up! You manipulated me! Now I'm gonna make everything right. Just how are you gonna do that? By killing you. Never betrayed me. What do you want, boy? Make the world something it's not, make it some fucking perfect, beautiful place? <laughs> Your idealism blinds you. You don't know that it's survival of the fittest. You think killing me is gonna just get rid of everything? You think killing me is gonna solve all this shit? means nothing. was a good cop. Extra, extra, prohibition's over. Extra, extra, prohibition's over. Hey, mister, did you say the prohibition's over? I heard. Hey, at least buy a copy. Come on, mister.
guess the at least buy one. It was that same year that Prohibition would be repealed. It seemed almost unbelievable how so many good cops died for what they believed in. Looking back on it now, I see how insane the whole thing was. Prohibition, the 18th Amendment, tried to regulate something that couldn't be regulated, even from the start. It was a lost cause.